welcome to my channel again and i am your host arjun roy welcoming you all with my another new video which i have made on figure of speech uh, so when i was pursuing my graduation degree at that time i came to know about this particular literary device or we can say that a uh, figure of speech a figure of speech is something that we must know if you are a writer or if you love writing so you must deal with it you must know about it otherwise your writing might not affect your writing your writing might not you know charm anyone so let me go with the definition of figure of speech a figure of speech is a literary device that adds richness depth and imagery to the language by using words or phrases in a non literal way it involves the use of words or expression in a manner that differs from their literal meaning to create a special effect or emphasize a point figures of speech are commonly used in poetry prose speeches and everyday language to make writing or speech more engaging vivid and memorable so as i told you if you really want to make your writing look perfect beautiful at the same time catchy so you must know how to use figure of speech in your writings here are some examples of figure of speech are simile a common one metaphor uh, another common one alliteration hyperbole i have written the easiest ones and as you all know that if you really want to read figure of speech it is huge in number there are many figure of speeches which i will discuss in part by part so figure of speeches are classified in the following way if you really want to remember the figure of speeches so you must remember their classification we can't you know we can't, we can't add alliteration and simile in the same category as they belong to different categories so here i have written six different categories figures based on similarity figures based on contrast or differences figures based on imagination figures based on indirectness figures based on sound figures based on construction and if you really want to know about all these types so you must visit my youtube channel and you must you know go through the videos the first type today i am here going to discuss is figures based on similarity and in this category we will get two figure of speeches simile and metaphor today i will mm, talk have a talk on simile actually a simile is a figure of speech that compares two different things using the word like or as to establish a resemblance between them it is a way of describing something by likening it to something else usually to make a point clearer or create a vivid image in the reader's mind here are some examples of similes first example is he runs as fast as a cheetah this simile compares he runs as fast as cheetah this simile compares with the speed of uh, the person running to the incredible speed of a cheetah emphasizing how quickly the person runs second one her laughter was like music to my ears this simile compares the pleasant sound of someone's laughter to the beauty and joy of music highlighting the delight it brings the next example that i have borrowed it from uh, one of the famous uh, poem to follow knowledge like a sinking star and i'm not telling from where i have taken this particular line i i really want you to comment from where i have taken this line i want you all to comment the name of the poem from where i have taken that particular line so this is all about simile a uh, easy one always remember if you really want to identify a simile so you 
must seek toward one is as another is like if you are getting as a like in a sentence so without any doubt without any kind of hesitation you should go for simile second one the next figure of speech that i am going to discuss is metaphor the word meta comes from greek word which means change and phera means i bear so here we can see metaphor is a word we derive from greek word meta and phera which means change and i bear in it a comparison is made between two different things in an implied way example for example here i have written three examples uh, such as camel is the shape of desert here a direct comparison is made between the camel and the desert as you can see both camel and desert are you know two opposite things which are compared here second one i will drink life to the least so here a famous poem of tennyson uh, the line is taken from i will not tell you again the line you have to search you have to get it and you have to comment it in, in the comment box here lay duncan his silver skin laced with his golden blood so again in the very third sentence or the third example i have taken it from william shakespeare famous tragedy famous play macbeth so these are the examples of metaphor and you must note these examples down in your copy as it might help you in future is as it might help you in your study thank you for watching my videos thank you for subscribing my channel thank you for liking my videos and please do visit my channel and do subscribe thank you thank you viewers thank you all